probably a good person. Um, uh, I said this yesterday, and it applies um, all the way across the board, I think, that a little bit is good, more is better, and all of it is best, right? That's true with the last planner system. It's true with, with um, uh, integrated project delivery. It's true with lean construction. And what you're saying is common in the industry um, uh, all the way across those domains. Um, we see companies who, who declare they're lean, and yet they don't actually practice the basic tenets of lean. Uh, they only have part of it. So it is, it is a journey. It is continuous improvement. So we are, we are, you are always continuing to pursue perfection, right? So that's, that's the sort of generic overall answer to your question. Um, the easier answer to your question that we say at last resort is change your people or change your people. Right? If your people are, if you're, you're a company who is requiring last planner to be implemented and they are not using the system to its fullest extent and they are not continuing to improve, then they need to think about whether they're in the right place. Right? Some hard examination needs to, needs to be done, I think, right? Okay? That's fair? Eh, bueno, la pregunta mía va en el siguiente sentido. El profesor Howell mencionó el desarrollo de Lean en los Estados Unidos y cómo se mencionó. Pero se tiene, oh, yo tengo la idea de que el Lean es desarrollo japonés. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es el cuál es el cruce que tengo? Tú sabes que un éxito, una cosa buena, siempre tiene muchos padres. Entonces, bueno, todo el mundo se quiere atribuir el éxito o el desarrollo de BIM. Realmente BIM nació en los años 70 y, y de hecho incluso la autoridad de BIM lo está reclamando en una universidad búlgara o, o de, ahí de, de estos países de, de la antigua área, área soviética. Parece ser que nació por allí, pero bueno, yo intentar atribuirle padre a una herramienta desarrollada desde la industria, pues tampoco tiene mucho sentido, ¿no? La, en cuanto alguien saca algo, no sé. Archicad. Sí. En Israel, sí. Ahora Pablo está defendiendo Israel. ¿Cómo? Pues bueno, tiene muchos padres, ¿no? Yo creo que, que lo bueno es que exista competencia y que se desarrolle desde diferentes frentes precisamente para fomentar la calidad. Eh, buenos días. Eh... Se ha hablado estos dos días sobre la implementación de estas herramientas, esta filosofía en empresas que por lo general tienen una larga trayectoria, que llevan en el medio pues bastante tiempo. Yo quisiera saber cuáles serían las ventajas, los retos eh, y los obstáculos que podría tener la implementación de, de todo lo que se ha hablado eh, en nuevos emprendimientos, en nuevas empresas. your question with this slide and bear with me but don't let me off the hook okay one of the things that I've seen in the last few days is description of 
using the last planner system, but we really haven't described what the last planner system is, right? So I'm going to try to do this in three minutes in a very simple way, in a very simple message. And I think it's going to speak directly to your question about how can you do this in a very small environment, right? And now I want to forewarn you, don't try this at home. But on, on any other small project, at home, if your wife says, I want you to fix the deck in the back, you just say, yes, ma'am, and, and OK? That may have been the best advice that you've had in two days, right? But here, OK, here we go. So I'm going give to give it to you on one shot, so pay attention. So look at this from left to right and high to low. We're going to talk about those things that are done on projects as needed, and then those things that are done on a periodic basis that can be weekly or even daily. There is a master schedule. We're not saying to abandon the master schedule, usually done in a CPM fashion, right? So, but we are going to enter into master planning. Master planning is usually establishing milestones Along, along the master schedule that are in, in accordance and sliced from the master schedule. We are then, by the way, yesterday I had one slide and I screwed it up, but today we're practicing continuous learning. So I'm leaving the changer alone and I brought my own pointer. Okay, so we're doing master planning, not master scheduling. The master schedule is up there, usually done in isolation. We establish milestones, usually, this, the, the, to do that, and it establishes the promise of the project. Moving down, we use pull planning to phase schedule one of those milestones that we set in the, in the arena above. Pull planning, a, com a, com a collaborative built plan focusing on handoffs, right? Moving, that answers what should we be doing. As we move down, we then use a look ahead plan for make ready planning, usually in a six week time frame in that in that activity, we identify constraints, we use commitments to remove those constraints, and we keep track of, of those constraints that are preventing the work from being done. We cannot plan to do the work unless the constraints that prevent the work from being done are removed. We then, on a weekly basis, make a reliable promise about the tasks that we are actually going to do on the project. I am going to frame down grid line Q from one through three on Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and you can move your crew in on Thursday. That is a specific, reliable promise that can then be measured on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, and, the, and plan percent complete, complete can be calculated, and it establishes the activity of rapid learning. The entire package and process creates and maintains reliable workflow. Right? So this is the hardest simple thing that you will ever do. But it really is quite simple. And any part or piece can be, can be used for the smallest job or the biggest job. It works best in complex, uncertain environments. Right? So, did you get what you needed? 
from that question? Good. Your, your head is probably tired from going like that. Okay. Um, el reto es tener los equipos preparados para la implementación. Muchas veces no conocen los diseños, lo presupuesto, no tienen un plan estratégico de gestión de conocimiento, de las necesidades del cliente, entonces no están preparados para enfrentar un medio colaborativo. ¿Sí? Porque se comienza la colaboración, pero no se tienen los elementos para, que, para permitir que la colaboración aconteza. Yo hice implementación de la Experience System por, en diversos países. El reto que tengo es que los equipos no están preparados. La primera cuestión, ¿hay ley del contrato? ¿Contrato? ¿Qué contrato? ¿Cómo va a hacer la gestión de un proyecto sin ley del contrato? ¿Hay estudiado los diseños? ¿Los diseños están coordinados? ¿Hay creado un plan de staffing plan, un plan de staffing para su organización? ¿Cuáles son los, 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 los conocimientos necesarios para hacer la gestión del proyecto? ¿Cuáles son los retos que tienen? No saben de nada. Entonces vamos a colocar subcontratistas, 20, 30 subcontratistas en una sala para hablar con el equipo que no tiene ningún conocimiento del proyecto. ¿Cómo fue hecha la precualificación? O no lo sé. Entonces, la implementación de la Spanish System no es, tan, no es un reto. El reto es los equipos estar preparados. Este es el esfuerzo que hacemos en el trabajo con, los, con las empresas. Bueno, muchísimas gracias. Ahora vamos eh, a tomar un refrigerio y volvemos en 15 minutos para el cierre del evento. Muchísimas gracias. <risa>